What got you there with got you got you what got you there with Shonda? The one thing I, I would say that about all spec operators um, and even <clears throat> even uh, military folks who go through some very intense training is that uh, is that in in those types of environments, what's happening is you're you're being thrown into deep challenge, uncertainty, and stress, and you're being asked to make it through. And so so that the the conduct of that act alone um, is invaluable training for any human being because you could because you can you can you can translate that you can map that onto almost any environment it's funny i i live in a neighborhood and um i have three other seals in my neighborhood right one across the street one down the road to the right one down the road to the left and um and obviously it's great having the neighborhood awesome dudes um, but i remember my wife once saying uh to me she's like i'm so glad these guys are around because if anything if you were gone and anything happened i know uh, I know that I could go to them, any one of them, and they'd act just like you act. And I said, what do you mean by that? She said, they'd immediately calm down, they'd figure out the problem and start working the problem. Uh, and I think that's what, that's what um, this type of training does, is it allows you to, in the deepest moments of stress, challenge, and uncertainty, calm yourself and, and, and begin working the problem. And, that, and, and working the problem might be really tiny steps or it might be leaps, whatever that is, but it's that, it's that ability to take that action, uh, however small or however large. And I think that is translatable to every human being. So, so the question you ask, I mean, if there were, I don't know if you could take one thing out of SEAL training and have every civilian do it um, because some people wouldn't be able to carry boats on their heads. Some people would, would freeze in the cold water um, I think it's a combination of things, but I think the good news is that we all, as human beings, go through stress, challenge, uncertainty. I mean, look at, gosh, look at 2020. I mean, that's a, 2020 was all of our own buds. I mean, the only difference between SEAL training and 2020 was that none of us volunteered to be there and none of us had a bell to ring to quit, right? We, we all, we were all stuck there, right? So we were all forced to really look ourselves in the mirror and press through. Um, and it's going to be, and anybody who takes the time to kind of look back and, and autopsy that and autopsy their behavior and where they did, where they did things great, where they did things uh, that were not so great, that is lessons. Those are lessons that can be applied. And so this is one of the reasons why I'm really happy that the attributes is coming out when it is, because I had no, I mean, the book was almost written, almost, almost complete by the time we all went into lockdown. So I had no clue that this would happen. Um, but what I realized as I was kind of editing and stuff, I was like, man, this is actually, 2020 was a great uh, environment, great laboratory inside of which all of us had our attributes tested and all of us can begin to see where we're, uh, where we're, we're high on some and maybe a little bit deficient on others and where we might want to work on things. So, uh, so I think that's, uh, that's a really interesting process that all of us can take away from. Lady.